Many customers like to change out the clevis rod tip that comes pre-installed on the Actronics L12, L16 and P16 actuators. This rod tip is screwed onto the actuator shaft which is in turn screwed onto a Delrin fiberglass composite drive nut inside the actuator. Over rotating the actuator shaft can break this drive nut rendering your actuator useless. I'm going to show you how to do it safely without damaging your actuator. First, fully extend the actuator shaft. Then while gripping the actuator shaft firmly, use a small tool like a screwdriver to turn out the rod tip. If you want to make your own rod tip, the internal thread designation is an M8 by 1.25 thread. Insert your new rod tip, and while still grasping the actuator shaft firmly, tighten it clockwise finger tight. The maximum torque rating for tightening is 7 pounds, so if you don't have a torque driver, finger tight is best to avoid damaging the drive nut. Tightening the rod end without firmly holding the actuator shaft is not recommended and is the easiest way to bust your nut. Also note, Actuonics doesn't sell drive nuts, as we don't recommend taking the actuator apart yourself. The actuator's PCB can be easily damaged if disassembled by non-experienced personnel.